Hey everybody, Frankie here. Hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we're gonna talk about saving mixer states. Sometimes when we build a, we build up an effects rack in FL Studio and it's very complex and we get this really incredible sound. Sometimes we just wanna capture that as a preset so we can use it later. So let's get right to it. I'm gonna show you how to save mixer presets in FL Studio. Let's get to it. So, Right here, I've got this uh, stack that I put together, um, and it's this kind of dreamy electric guitar uh, that we came up with. We were just doing some riffing uh, the other night, and I wanted to save it as a preset, so uh, here's kind of how I went about that. Let me show you the sound here real quick. This is kind of what we're listening to. <laughs> So it's a, this big atmospheric electric guitar sound. So basically the way you do it, uh, wherever you built the stack, whatever insert you built it on, I've got it on insert 20 in this one, uh, right here, you can actually go here and right click on the track and then go to file and save mixer state. And there's a couple ways you can use this. Sometimes you just want to clone that and duplicate it. Other times you want to save it for a rainy day. So we can click here and go save mixer state and then give it a name that's useful. So I can call this uh, cool guitar sound, whatever makes sense to you, right? Save that and then say I want to apply that here later or in a whole different project. I can right click, go to file and open mixer track state. And when you do that, there's the cool guitar sound. We just pick that up, open it, and there it is loaded in there. You can rename it or call it whatever you want. Uh, one thing it does not preserve uh, is the input. So if you had an input set, it would not, uh, would not pull that in. So you have to set that again. Uh, but that's pretty, pretty simple to do. Now, the next way you can do this, sometimes you wanna clone uh, an effect to another track in the same project. And you can, you can save it and open it like I just did, but an easier way is to right click and go to file. And then where it says save mixer track, you're gonna left click and hold on that and just drag that to another track. And that'll clone it right over and you can see they're identical. So that's it. I know this is a short video, but it's a, a really easy, quick trick. And it's a very, very useful, especially if you're building up a library of things that you want to use in future projects. And when you're doing production work for other people, that can be really handy. So uh, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, if you get any enjoyment out of this, if it helps you at all, please leave us a comment in the comment section down below and uh, hit that subscribe button. It, it really helps. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video.